Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Afternoon Buzz. I'm Scott Carpenter alongside Justin Shuto and Henry Bourne. And let's do our normal thing. Let's talk about the weather, the segue I sent. Hank, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. And for the first time in a while, we can actually talk about the weather and be happy about it. No kidding. Yeah, actually, we did have a pretty mild winter. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if you... Remember, we talked about the Gopher Committee and all their work. They did <laughs> yeah. bring us a mild winter. They did. They did. And... And, you know, early and, if it did, and the thing about this winter was if it snowed, it melted within the next two days. Very true. Nothing so. really accumulated onto the ground, but I can't complain about it. High school kids everywhere, middle school kids everywhere got no snow days this year. I though. know, and yeah. they probably didn't even reach their calamity day limits. So. And they're probably going to science class, hearing about climate change over and over, over again and now. Over yep. and over again. True. Yeah, Leo's speech is a... You know, you go ahead. No, I, you were... You clearly gave me the look. You had something important to say. It was not that important. I just felt like I needed to owe Pucks Twenty Phil an apology. <laughs> Pucks bud. Pucks, whatever. You know, he knows who he is. <laughs> he knows who I'm talking about. You know, I really, I tore into him a couple weeks ago. So, uh, so should we all, should we all formally, uh, beautiful. Should we formally apologize to Punk Sawani Phil? You know, I have no, I, I don't think we apologize for anything on this show, so I really think that would break the trend, because yeah. our first, did. our first segment, I think there's going to be a lot of people demanding apologies, and I'm not going to crumble. True. True. I'm not oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. What we got to talk about? We do We do have some, yeah, we got some things to talk about. So, should we start it? Go ahead, bud. So, no apologies, right? No apologies. No apologies. No apologies. All right, so we're starting off with uh, Hank. The, Hank, I think this is your favorite holiday, and I'm not talking about International Women's Day, because <laughs> you don't get any. I'm talking about... <laughs> 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 well, I'm, no go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go Drops ahead. mic, leaves the room. <laughs> yeah, that's the afternoon buzz, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yep. Yep. Just Thank wait. you for tuning in. I'll just turn off mic three for the rest of the time. <laughs> Uh, no, talking about uh, IHOP is giving free pancakes away for National Pancake Day till what, 7 o'clock tonight? Yes, yes sir. Do we have an IHOP in Tiffin? I don't think so. There's hey, one in Finley. Where do one-legged girls work? IHOP. <laughs> IHOP. Hey. Man, that's hey. richer than a pancake. One-legged men can work there, too. Uh, no, it's International Women's Day. So. I know. Now, the whole joke goes, if girls with big boobs work at Hooters, then where does girls with one leg work? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. I've heard that. The first time I heard that was on Two and a Half Men. Yeah, really? me too. That's Two it. and a Half Men was one of the best shows ever as far as a sitcom will go. Beats Friends. It beats Big Bang Theory. All those. I've never watched it. <laughs> really? What? No. Wow. That was Charlie Sheen in his new absolute girl? prime. You've seen New Girl, Hank? You've seen New Girl, but you haven't seen Two and a Half Men. Look. When your girlfriend picks to watch a new girl, it's not like it was by choice. Hank, you haven't had a girlfriend for, what, five, six years? <laughs> okay, like a year. <laughs> Isn't New Girl a relatively new show? It was on Netflix, bro. Uh-huh. No, okay. I, I've, I've seen Two and a Half Men, and, and it is funny, but I've never sat down and, like, I'm going to watch the show religiously. Neither did I. No, neither did I. I've just probably seen every episode from watching it so much because it's that I thought it was that entertaining. I just I, I never really you know thought and said I should watch New Girl though. <laughs> I didn't sit down and turn <laughs> on the TV. Hank, Hank, no, no, you did. Cause I, we, we no, as a squad, we all asked. We, you know what? We just ended our Blue Mountain State series. What? You know that was fun. We enjoyed watching that together. What can we do next? What, what can other bro yeah. series can we watch? What other manly football sport related series can we watch? Can I be Hank in this situation? Can you please? Oh. Uh, have you guys have you guys seen New Girl? <laughs> that is not what I sounded like. Yes, you were so yes, you wanted it so bad, and we all hey, collectively you know what? As far as I'm concerned, you guys idea. are the ones missing out because it's <laughs> it's an excellent show. Okay, right. you know somewhere Alyssa and Taylor and if Kenzie can listen overseas, she's probably she is. she is she is sweet. She's probably what's up, Grace? What's up, Kens? She's probably they're probably all in agreement with you, but luckily it's me and Shudo's voices that are broadcasting. And we're going to continue right. to dog on you, and but. As, as, <laughs> as rich what was that? <laughs> Did you see? That's right. That's right. That's Sing it. That's Sing it. Uh, as rich as that was, let's talk about pancakes. I uh, like pancakes. Oh, uh, who doesn't love pancakes? Are you gonna Are you gonna attend the little national pancake holiday? Well, I would if Tiffin had an IHOP. Really true. If I wasn't in a podunk town. But we could go to like Bob Evans and order some, but it's not the same as getting free ones. You know? Right? No, no, that's not it's free like pancakes. What I explained to Scott earlier. When somebody, it's like it's the same concept as like when somebody else makes you a sandwich, it tastes better. Oh, you that's get a free pancake. It's so much better. It's the truth. If someone makes you a sandwich, it is you're like, hey, this is a great sandwich. Exactly. <laughs> like, thank you. When you have to make your own sandwich, you don't appreciate. Yeah, it. you're just like, eh, you know. You're just, just talking about that because. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Did you just did you just say what just yeah. happened? Yeah. I said yeah. Yeah. I mean, sorry. We're talking about earlier. I kind of I kind of dozed out there. I wasn't really paying attention. Really? 
Some it's that happens when the Cheeto talks. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just it doesn't really grab my attention. That's why I sing it. Okay. <laughs> That's true. Once he sings it, yeah, then I'm hooked. Then okay. everybody's yeah. got the attention. Uh, so, but let's let's talk about we got two holidays today, right? We got two holidays. Although uh, every day is some sort of holiday. Yeah. It makes no sense. Like to National me. Card Day or something. And what was it like National Drink Wine Day? Like last week? Yeah. I don't understand. It's every day. It's every day. Every yeah, every day is a, if you're in a sorority and you're a white girl, every day is National Drink Wine Day. But um. It's also International Women's Day, which do you guys think that's a coincidence that it goes along with International Pancake Day? Because I think they'll be I flipping in the kitchen all day. That works so well. Yes, that does. <laughs> that is almost, it does. That is almost gives a justice right there for them classifying a holiday for themselves. You know, we're going to put National Get in the Kitchen Day the same <laughs> Uh, we, we warned everybody I'm uh, not going to apologize uh, Hank just put his face down Oh man, oh, man. Yeah, I just, do like pancakes <laughs> <laughs> Hank's just a little oh. sensitive Because he's still thinking about new girl yep. oh. There's a mob forming outside yep. Yeah pretty it. much There's going to be protests it's nice enough. There's, there's, there's the, you know, Everybody from Planned Parenthood is going to start Tank showing weather. up It's going to get out of hand huh? Tank weather All the oh, yeah. yeah you rocked out the Neo Tank already Neon the neon tank. Neon tank. Got it out already. Guns out, guns out. Absolutely. I'm a little upset. Today was the day that I discovered my hair is too long to mohawk right now. I need a haircut. Yeah, because you did. You mohawk mine earlier. I did. That's what we were talking about. The whole. It, it's well, better. at least you have hair. <laughs> just, just a look on the right. Are side. we back on the bald spot? Hank, do you think that's gonna get sunburned? It is. <laughs> I guarantee it will. Like I, I, next week you when I'm in Utah. Hats? Uh, huh? You have to wear like sun hats. Well, once it once it like really starts balding, I'm just gonna, you're just I'm just gonna be known as the ball cap guy. I'm just gonna wear a ball cap <laughs> everywhere and I then go. And it just gets worse. Ball cap, boot and jeans. Hey. Yep, that's gonna be me. Just continue to go with your country vibe you got. It's it's just gonna get worse from there. But no, I'd like you to not wear a hat in Utah, just so I can see if that well, you're going to Utah for spring break. So I want to see if you come back with a tan bald and, spot. And the bad thing about Utah is is you're like a lot higher and like on the sea level, so you get you get more sunburned. Yeah, you're closer to the sun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> trying to sound smart. Yeah. yeah, good, good, try, good try there, but no, but hey, uh, no, you just sea level, whatever, but, son. <laughs> so since this turned into a dogging on uh, International Women's Day to dogging on Hank, um, I'm just kind of wondering when is the when when is the stage of of hair loss that you'll hit the row gain re, re uh, process? Well, I heard Bosley works too. Bosley's better. I don't know. I've been look. I've actually been researching, been researching it. I've been doing a little bit like uh, Google, like Bosley, and then that pill or not pill? It was a pill. Yeah, the tablet the, for the it thing. works or whatever it was. Yeah, hair, yeah, skin, and nails. Careful, I feel like that. You'll just start growing hair everywhere. Yeah, you're gonna have a unibrow. Well, that, that's, that's no good. Beard. That's no bueno because I got more chest hair on on my chest than I do on my head. Just do one of those transplants. Yeah, just do one of those transplants. Get it like off your butt. And yeah. Uh, if they take it out of my chest, I'm all right. I, I don't want people touching my butt. <laughs> your butt hair? Is that what you said? The, you just said they take it from your butt and I'm, put it. Well, that's, I think when you do skin transplant. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big difference I'm there, but. It's just, it works the same way, though. That's also an episode of Two and a Half Men. Should have you seen that one where yes. Evelyn goes to get li- uh, bigger skin. lips and they take it from her from her butt? Skin graft? No. Skin graft, something like that, yeah. Yep. A lot of times they'll, they'll, they'll take it from your butt. thighs, too. Yeah. Thanks for that. Hey, you know what? I am. I'm. A, I know a lot of random information. Obviously, you read a lot of articles. I do. Yeah, that's true. Every day. Oh, yeah. You got, and speaking of, I am officially a published writer. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, plug yourself. Plug yourself. What do you do, Hank? Well, okay. Well, <laughs> a list. The campus just got the new uh, the Odyssey. I know. I know. I don't. I really don't well, know well, how. I put you on the spot a little I bit, know. didn't I? Anyway, campus uh, Heidelberg just recently signed on to the Odyssey, which is a uh, like an online blog website. Like basically, you can write about anything. It was started on a college campus, and uh, a couple of our good friends actually write for the Odyssey. And I was like, "Hey, let's be adventurous, Hank. You know, you know, instead of playing COD all day, maybe you can take twenty minutes out of your time and write something down. Instead of going one in twenty-eight in Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, my roommate informed me that you got on mine while I was gone, and you went like uh, three <laughs> and seventeen. No, and I went one in twelve, and I just called it quits. It's like, you know what? <laughs> This is bad. Probably good. There you go. Probably a good idea. But no, congratulations, bud. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's I'm getting sorry. some getting some love on Facebook. Yeah, so. all the girls really like the article when they were proofreading and everything yeah, it like was, that. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of girls. It's about a lobster, right? <laughs> it is. It's The theme is kind of like lobsters. It's, it's hard to explain. <laughs> I, told, I told everybody next week I'm writing about crabs. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that was the upgraded version yep. from crabs. Yep. Yeah. So we'll bring that back. But uh, now, speaking of private parts and issues, 
Uh, when we come back on the Afternoon Buzz, we'll have uh, Chloe Kardashian named her camel toe, if you know what I mean. Wow. And we'll have that up next on the Afternoon Buzz, W-H-E-I 88.9. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Afternoon Buzz. Scott and Justin and Hank here bringing in your 72-degree lovely weather sunny day in Tiffin, Ohio. All right, boys. So uh, we left talking about uh, quite the teaser there, talking about uh, Kim Kardashian naming her... Uh, Chloe, bud. Chloe. Yeah. Chloe. Sorry. Chloe naming her uh, camel toe. Hank, uh, give us the scoop on this one, if you will. <coughs> well... Emphasis on scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, Chloe thinks that women should not view having a camel toe as bad, and then she proceeds to, to quote unquote say in the article she named hers Camille. 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 Is there any reason why she named it Camille? Um, camel, Camille. What'd you say? Got good flow. But if you think about it, camel, Camille. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. That makes a lot we, more sense. So you really don't have anything to add to this because it's so stupid. Like, you know, when we get those stories that are so stupid, there's really not a joke you can make about it. Why do we publicize this, though? Like, why like yeah, why do what? these morons right. the right, like, the and, ability And you know what's stupid you know? is that made Khloe Kardashian money. Like, that's unbelievable. You name your camel toe, like, <laughs> you can name your you-know-what, you're not going to get any money for <laughs> it. Yeah. Name your hoo-ha. <laughs> you may as well name it Girls Run Away because you're not going to get any money for it. <laughs> Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> little inside joke there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, is, that, is that the state of our media now? That is the state of our media. It's That's sad. Think yeah. about papar- how does paparazzi make a living? Like, how do they not want to go home and just shoot themselves? They make a living of just trying to photograph other people's lives, everyday lives, just because they're famous. And and they're just normal people. That's the thing. Like, well, the people that are almost worse than them are the people that are like gobbling this up. Like, just yep. I love it. Like, I need to know what is what is like the like what does Kim Kardashian do on a daily basis? Like, they just can't get enough. Have you ever seen a National Enquirer when you're checking out in a grocery line that wasn't completely wrong? Like the 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 headline was completely false. How do they not get in trouble constantly for publishing those things? <laughs> I don't know, but I can't tell you how many women have married a lizard in the last couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my okay. gosh. So let's <laughs> since we're since we're talking about it, let's not give it any attention. So Chloe, congratulations on <laughs> making the extra million dollars off of Camille. Uh, uh, we we all think you're the scum of the success. earth. Anyway, uh, a waste truck in Florida fell 75 feet to a Miami park. Hank also has the scoop on this one. Yeah, no he was on. on dirty. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I got the down low. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, he was driving on I-95 in Florida, and he kind of just lost. He was distracted, went right off the edge. And was he just, distracted by Camille? Well, considering I-95 is an, an interstate. Wait, side note. That is terrible for anybody named Camille now. I apologize. Yeah. Personal apologies for all the Camilles out there. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Hello? Camille, I actually always thought Camille was kind of like, oh, that's a nice name. Like, I'm not going to name my... Nah. Not anymore. I'm not going to name my daughter Camille, but I'm like, not. your name no. Camille. That sounds like something you'd hear at a strip club. Am I wrong? Camille? No. No? Camille is classy. You think Camille is classy? Not anymore. If we, okay, if we haven't just talked about Chloe's camel toe, Camille is classy. <laughs> what were you about to say? Because I, I heard an enunciation, though. Um, so the waste oh, truck what? fell. Do we really have anything else on that? No, just, just, I mean, it just fell. It just, he was an idiot. He was an idiot. And Got distracted no one was hurt. No one was hurt. A lot of trash was dispersed into the park which oh, it was is a trash it's in, it was in miami so it's not really a big difference from trash Dade county i mean florida and california end up in our headlines all the time yeah, why and is it always florida? because they have these stupidest people and like Dade county has got an iq together of 27 yeah, i swear about warm weather, man. something yeah. about it well i mean if you lived in florida you're probably like ah, oh, the sun's always out let's just go to the beach it's you pretty know much Pretty That's, much. What does that got to do with driving a garbage truck? I have no idea. You're just talking about IQ. I'm saying you're not going to go to school. You're going to go to the beach. You just, we were just <laughs> discussing this. <laughs> He's trying so hard to defend Hank. his point. All right, All right Hank, we All get right, it. We'll we get it. We'll give you the BOTD on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, more importantly, let's talk about what state did this happen in, Hank? We already got Florida. California. Yeah, you got it. I, uh, Hank, give us uh, give us the uh, intelligence on this one because uh, recently the mystery machine actually escaped a California cop in a chase. It was more than just one cop. They, uh, she was seen speeding through the city at a. Hu- Velma or is it Daphne? 
I think it was Daphne. Yeah. It was Fred driving. <laughs> it was a she. It was a she. So it was Scooby's head out the Velma window. Velma can't drive. She wears glasses. Did you just insult all the glasses wearers? <laughs> no, I'm just saying she's not. She doesn't have the best eyesight. Okay. It, well, that's why she has glasses. I can't find my glasses. <laughs> okay. Anyway, she was speeding through the city at 100 miles an hour. Runs through a red light. The cops that's chase her. Mysteries. What do you want her to do? <laughs> you get, you're the mystery machine. You got places to be. You got things to solve. Yeah. Food to eat. Scooby snacks to to give. <laughs> there's gonna be. There's probably a theft at the museum. There's a guy in a mask running around. He's gonna be there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that Hank will never get through a story without us saying oh, something about it. We have to argue with Hank. Yes, we do. Just to irritate him. Not even valid points. Just enough to make him just get flustered a little. Anyway. Bit. Saying Focus. she crashed. But continued to drive with the crashed van and somehow, after almost r- like wrecking the car, escapes the cops' clutches. And o- clutches. <laughs> only in California or Florida <laughs> do these stories. Kids? Oh my gosh. Only in California or Florida do these stories well, come to light. That's a waste of a mystery machine. That is. I know. Like that is, that's almost a treasure, almost. And it was, a pa- it was painted like the mystery It was exactly machine. like the mystery How machine. How do you lose that? I guarantee everybody who sees that's like, was that, th- was that the mystery machine? <laughs> Running from multiple cops? <laughs> no, that that's a little bit of reverse roles there too, because you never thought the actual mystery machine would have to run away from cops. Right, exactly. You no. Be one of the most elusive people in the world. That is talent. That is good. Because that's not a f- that that looks like Hank's cars in Rocket League. He doesn't design them very well. Yeah. That is a very lo- a bulky piece of car to be yeah. taking away from the not cops. Very nimble. Probably not the quickest and car. California's got the highest taxes in the world, so I imagine their cop cars are very fast. I would think. But apparently, not, not, not fast not enough to catch machine. the mystery machine. No. Yeah, Mystery machine is just a little bit faster on that one. Well, there's your, uh, but that's not even your weird story of the day. Your weird story of the day is still coming up. And right when we get back from this b- break, we're going to play If You Know What I Mean, If You Know What I Mean. That's next on WHEI 88.9. This is the Afternoon Buzz. Back on the afternoon buzz, WHEI 88.9. All right, and it's that probably our fig- favorite segment of the show. Where our we fake favorite our, segment. Our favorite, <laughs> our favorite segment of the show where we get to play a game. And the game today is If You Know What I Mean. And here's the deal. We're going to give phrases uh, that could be a little bit of a double entendre, if you will. And the scenario is we are three golfers who just won our club championship. The game is called "If You Know What I Mean." Justin Shudo on the tee. All right. I know it's a good idea to wear a glove, but it feels so much better without it. If you know what I mean. I know what you mean, because uh, Hank's got a nice grip on the shaft. If you know what I mean. I do. I do. You know, you you say you took your your glove off today, and I I feel like yeah. you had to because I I saw you. You got lost in the bushes a couple times, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, you were watching me, Hank. I was watching you, and I, uh, I noticed you really stroked the wood well today, if you know what I mean. Yeah, even, uh, even as you were dealing with her, uh, her really high grass, you continued to hack away at it there, Hank, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> but now that we won, I mean, what do you guys want to do for the 19th hole, if you know what I mean? I know we finished a little bit early. I think I have a few more rounds in me, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. I definitely know what you mean. You know, I was a little surprised there that I, uh, that I hold out on number 12. It reminded me of a uh, prom night, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. I'm always trying to get in the hole, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I kind of, before we go out after this, I need to clean my clubs because they got a little dirty on the backside, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Definitely. I mean, my balls are going to need to be cleaned after this round. You know what I mean? No, I think I got my balls pretty clean, actually, there, because uh, quite a few of them got wet, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I actually finished early, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. There. We all know what you mean. That fairway was, uh, was quite moist, if you know what I mean. I do. That I do. Uh, Threw me for a loop, if you know what I mean. That, uh, that morning <laughs> dew definitely put a, put a nice touch on it, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. I think I lost a few balls out there today, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You know what really surprised me, though, is uh, Jerry. Jerry, the guy in the group behind us, yep. you know, he really hit a, lot of, hit a lot of pins today, and I didn't know he swung that way, if you know what I mean. 
I do know what you mean. <clears throat> they actually told me that I said I played a little quick today, and I was like, you know, I like to get in and get out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Definitely know what you mean. But, Hank, I got to say, it was really impressive because all day today you just pounded those balls, if you know what I mean. Mm. I do. Li- <laughs> I know what you mean there. <laughs> I like it when I hit it pretty hard, if you know what I mean. Mm. I know what you mean. I love watching Hank make contact with the ball, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, my gosh. That is uh, that is just, does anybody have any others I know what you mean? I, no? No, I, I, oh, my gosh. I, I ran my course, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. I feel like golf might have been the easiest subject. There's so was, many double entendres you could put with golf, if you know what I mean. easy, if you know what I mean. That did come a little easy. I know what you mean. No, but uh, that's if you know what I mean. Now, we're not the original creators of that. We took that from whose line is it anyway. Those were original jokes for us off the top of our head. But but whose line is it anyway, one of the classic shows, and this the comedy gold. Hank and I love that it's show. The, it's my one of my favorites. Yeah, they did some incredible, if you know what I mean, and other things. We just tried one of theirs not too long ago, questions only. And on our yeah. side of things, it was a pretty massive fail. We realized that that takes more skill than we all thought. <laughs> then it looked like when Wayne Brady got up there and just did it, it actually takes a lot yeah. more skill than one with yeah. that. I, I still think we could do it. I just, I don't know. It, it is really tough. We might it's not one have of been on our game. It's one of those you things where, I mean. like, that's one of the things that we'd have to prep for, and they don't have to prep. Like, yeah. to think of things that fast on your feet. They're just incredible, incredible comedians. But hopefully you enjoyed. If you know what I mean, we'll be coming back. We've got a couple stories coming up for you, including an ostrich running fast as can be. And hopefully today you're enjoying the throwbacks. It's the throwback theme here on the Afternoon Buzz. We'll be right back on the other side of this commercial break. This is the Afternoon Buzz on WHEI 88.9. Afternoon Buzz, WHEI 88.9. Welcome back. And uh, we're going to talk about one of the otter stories. Uh, it would be great if we were actually talking uh, about an otter. I, I was yeah, going to like, is this <laughs> more odd stories somewhere in uh, on campus? Alyssa is correcting my grammar right now. Uh, but uh, Hank, did you post the video yet? No, I need to do that. Hank is posting the video. Uh, you can go to afternoon underscore buzz on Twitter to see this video. Uh, there is an ostrich. Where was this? I don't know. It didn't say. It just I don't know. It's just some bikers on some country road, and a wild ostrich appeared and chased them for a good minute and a half, just full speed. How fast these things can run scare the living daylights out of that me. That is a big big bird it l- still looks like it might be part dinosaur Did you say it's big bird <laughs> <laughs> you know you never want to laugh at hank's jokes but then he looks you right in the eye and starts cracking starts up laugh, yeah. and then you can't help but laugh you just laugh you're laughing at him at that point did you say big bird yeah, yeah. no uh but uh no so the ostrich i mean you guys have seen the kevin heard the kevin hart skit before too where he throws an ink pen at it and then he puts he puts one leg down and then the ostrich is running side by side of the car oh, you, you, yes. you, you couldn't even see his legs they're moving so Fast, you know, blah blah blah. That I didn't really realize until that video that ostriches are are completely capable of that. Yeah, they are big. Ostriches and emus are like two. <laughs> They're so fat. How fast? How many miles per hour can they run? I think it's upwards of 35, 40. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is scary. Like if if I'm riding my bike though, like you're going. I am. Oh, I'm booking it. You're yeah, if you, and if my friend, like, because there was two people in the video, if yeah. my friend falls, I'm like, sorry, bud. Yeah. <laughs> like, I awesome love you. Dude. but It's the old joke. Yeah. If the, the bear is coming in the woods. You tell you to untie your shoes, and your friend, like, why are you untying your shoes? Cause he's like, bear, you can't outrun a bear. I don't have to outrun the bear. I just have to outrun you. <laughs> exactly. Yes. There you go. Yep, that's what you do. Uh, but uh, so the ostrich, no, that, I just can't believe 35, 40 miles. I cannot, I would, I would absolutely. You need a, I need a brown pair of pants to disguise yeah. what's about to happen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Sorry. Leo's step bro, Hank's got the inside scoop on this one as well. Leo's uh, fresh off his Oscar win. However, his step brother is on the run. Yeah, he's on the run. He stole a little bit of money from a couple of stores, and uh, it's it's kind of when it, in the article it was like euro. So I don't know what he's doing overseas or whatnot. But uh, he came back over, and somehow the U.S. police got involved, or the U.S. government got involved, and he's. Currently, I don't know, they don't know where he is, and he's on the run. So. There you go. Wow. They That's should, uh, you know what I think they're going to do is he might get involved in some epic chase. I think this is all planned. He's going to get involved in some epic police chase. He needs then he's going to go to jail. Movie. He's going to escape from jail, and then Leo's going to play him in a movie. Uh, it's a plan. I think it's a plan. And then somehow along the way, it'll relate to climate change. <laughs> <laughs> Just so he can bring it up in yeah. his Oscar <laughs> speech one more exactly. time. 
just so we can bring it up over time. It's but real. Hank, we need to talk about your man crush. Your man crush did something pretty incredible. Oh, go ahead, lead it in. It's your uh, man crush. I'll give you the full it spotlight. It is. It is. All right, my boy Ricky Fowler. He uh, Ernie Els uh, on Monday yesterday was holding a charity event, and on this extra hole they had is a 113 yard par three. Everyone got a chance to hit to see if they can get a hole in one to win a million dollars for the charity. Ricky was one of the last to go. He steps up, 113 yards, couple hops, and boom, hole in one for a million dollars. And a million dollars goes to a good cause. Is Ernie? Is it Ernie Els' charity? Mm-hmm. Is it for autism? Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Another. Yep. another and uh, when he made it, Ernie Els actually picked Ricky up. Like, like, because you know how you know Rick, Ernie Els is like six, and Ricky's like five seven. Yeah. And yeah. he just Ernie's picked like him six up. five. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's so your man crush doing big things out he there. Yeah, you know, Although, he Hank, can't finish on Sunday. He can't win a tournament on Sunday, but he'll make a hole in one for a million dollars. So isn't it frowned upon to don't. finish on Sunday? <laughs> can't finish on Sunday. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. We just <laughs> made the same. If you know what I mean. If right. you know what I mean. Uh, no, but it's interesting. We were watching golf with Hank this weekend. You could totally tell golf in HD was his life. But all he would comment on was the physique of uh, the golfers. Like, oh, Dustin Johnson is so ripped. Adam Scott is such a man dime. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I think Hank's got a thing for golfers. Hank's got a thing. Look, huh? here, I ain't, I ain't even going to deny it. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I just appreciate how hard they work. <laughs> I just know? appreciate physique and the good <laughs> golf swing. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So we'll have more on Hank's man crushes, but when we come back, yep. California and Florida are not in the running for the Weird Story of the Day. When we come back, find out how Minnesota is crowned our Weird Story of the Day. That's coming up next, the Afternoon Buzz on WHEI 88.9. Till then, take it easy for about three and a half minutes. Hopefully you took it easy for three and a half minutes. <laughs> anyway, t- time, to thank you, thank you. time to get to our Weird Story of the Day here, which belongs to Minnesota. 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 Anyway, uh, Minnesota. Actually, Shudo, can you can you take this one? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. I I'm a little baffled by this. I'm not sure what their plans are, but Minnesota has opened the world's first water bar where they serve Turn exclusively up. water products. Turn up. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what um, the the goal of this is exactly, but you know they have a proud mission statement. Their owners were quoted saying water bar is is, a, is an ant- itinerant open space for the generation of conversations and connections around the life sustaining precarious communal activity of drinking tap water wow now if that doesn't sound like it sounds like a time, glorified cup of water to me yeah it does <laughs> i don't know what is water sorry i was trying the spongebob berries. water yeah. i don't need it <laughs> when in doubt pinky eye. <laughs> <laughs> That, I mean, that's that the, should be their slogan. That should be. When in doubt, pinky out. But <laughs> it's, they, we invite water bar visitors to engage with one another as well as with project collaborators who tend bar and share their knowledge of water and water issues. So <laughs> you're expected to talk about water issues while you're drinking. Is Minnesota tap Minnesota water? Minnesota tap some, water. Yeah, is that, is that something better than we're like not experiencing in Ohio or something? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, I just Ohio think is one of the best water quality money. just because of how large our underground water storage is. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Did you read an article? <laughs> oh. no, I just actually knew that from a science class, bud. Okay. Right. Oh, 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 whoa. Yeah. Science class for a comm major? Those took, were always rough. I took chemistry, geology, and biology. I got to take geo with a lab next semester. I'm dreading it. It's yeah, my ge- gen eds, I fear. Geology is boring, but it's... I took geo. I didn't have the lab with it, though. I had my lab with bio. Mm. Labs are just so long, and it's just uh, it's just a drag. But yeah. so, And no, I don't think Minnesota wins stupid as state of the week for that. We still got to no. chalk that up to either. California I mean, or Florida kind of tied. That's pretty dumb. That's pretty dumb, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, who who's ever backing the idea? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's update before we end the afternoon buzz on where the Minnesota water bar stands on revenue. You know, they might get John Taffer in there to give it a little rescue. <laughs> or Leo. Well, Leo will probably show up. Wow. Or maybe his stepbrother will just go by for a drink <laughs> and then be on the run. Be on the run there in Minnesota. Yeah, but it, boys. Mystery machine woman. There you go. It's all tying together. All together. The after all ties together. Yeah, everything connects. Buzz. Everything connects. Speaking of everything connecting, let's do our shout outs right now. We'll start with Mr. Henry Bourne. Don't know why I said everything connecting. But <laughs> Henry, who's your shout outs? Oh, uh, just the usual gotta give a shout out to mom and pops who always support and listen to me. I appreciate it. And uh, all you Tiffanites out there who stand and let our political incorrectness go and go. We started off strong on yeah. political incorrectness. Yeah. For sure. Guilty. Okay, I'm next. 
Um, obviously, got to give my usual shout outs to all my Michiganders up there in the mitten. Appreciate it, mom, grandma. You mean a lot to me. Um, but more importantly, uh, our, our international listener this week, I uh, just want to say, first off, you know, we're proud of you for putting yourself out there and step out of your comfort zone. We all love you, we miss you, and uh, can't wait for you to get back, but enjoy your time while you're over there. Absolutely, yeah, Kenzie is uh, studying in Greece for the semester. She's probably got a ton of stories to come back with and uh, tell us, but uh, my shout outs go out to my family as well in Columbus who took the time to listen. I would like to congratulate my mom, who's the coach of Gabby Douglas, who just won the America Cup this weekend in New Jersey, so she got her time on TV. It was very cool. So mom, congratulations, all my friends in Columbus listening, and a big shout out to my number one fan, uh, girlfriend, love of my life, Sandy, Sandy, Sandra, Sandy, 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 Sandy Knight, uh, for listening. Thank you so much, everybody. Once again, congratulations to my mom and Gabby on that one. Everybody listening and Tiffin, thank you very much. You can catch us next week, same time, Tuesday at 3:30. This was the afternoon buzz. We don't apologize for political correctness, but we sure hope you turn in, tune in next week. See you next time, ladies and gentlemen.